Some other news now. A gunman who opened fire in a Rockwood home with a shotgun is on the loose tonight. The family describes his harrowing experience as they run for their lives. K2's Megan Coxstein is here joining us with this story. And Megan, this gunman left bullet holes in their kitchen, all over the place in their home. And believe it or not, he didn't actually take anything. Not a single thing. And really, Anna, this one is such a mystery for them. They say he barely came into the house, fired off two shots, and then the gunman took off. Police think that when the family ran, it likely spooked the stranger. Still, no one knows what he was after or if he'll be back. I didn't sleep last night. I haven't been to sleep yet. A sleepless night started with a rock thrown right into this now boarded sliding glass door. There in his Rockwood living room, Jeremy Knight came face to face with a stranger and his shotgun. And I'm looking down a barrel. The shot blasted through and peppered Knight's kitchen wall. It shattered part of their stovetop. Broke this and then, of course, got the, all the cabinets. And was a terrifying sight that sent Jeremy, his wife, and their teenage daughter running. When he goes from shooting from there. Just past the bedroom, the gunman fired off another shot before leaving. At this point, he's running out the back. My daughter's running through here. We're trying to get everybody out the front door. And boom. And I feel something go over my head. In the cover of darkness Friday night, police swarmed the house. They searched for clues outside and inside to figure out why an armed stranger picked this home. Knight can only guess what he was after. The only thing I could speculate is I do have medical marijuana. Uh, my other speculation is we've been working on the fence. Um, got a brand new plasma TV. Maybe he scoped it, thought we had some money in. And he was just coming in for a robbery. But after all of that, he says the stranger left with nothing. Now his family is wondering if they will have another sleepless night. Terrified. I think he's going to come back. And the family has no idea how the stranger would even know about their medical marijuana if that is indeed what he was after. They say right now they're simply terrified because this guy is still on the loose. Mm. Of course, police are investigating, but he's still out there. Very scary. All right, Megan, thank you.